Well, as a teacher, I get asked this question a lot, uh, of course, uh, from, from many students. And, and some of my students um, seem to play this, this idea of playing musically, if I put that in quotes. Naturally, it, can, it comes to them. Uh, they have an instinct for it. And then some of it doesn't really come quite so easy. Uh, sometimes uh, a player can be a little bit more geared toward the technical side of things and, and not be quite a very expressive player. Uh, there are many angles to this uh, to to this question. Uh, one of the things, that, uh, particularly with classical music, that's very important, uh, and this is something that I did in college when I was uh, going to the Cleveland Institute of Music, was I probably listened to about three or four hours of music a day. I mean, I was addicted to listening to music. So, in addition to my three or four hours of practice at the conservatory and and the home the theory homework and all that kind of stuff, I would try to listen uh, to Mahler symphonies, Beethoven string quartets, Mozart piano sonatas, you know, Haydn string quartets and piano sonatas, and just to get us really a sense of just the same way if you're if you're more familiar with rock playing and you and you know you listen to I don't know two thousand rock records. Uh, you're going to have a pretty good idea of, you know, the history, you know, if you listened all the way back to Chuck Berry and, 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 and those guys all the way to now, you're going to have a pretty good cross-section. And that's the same kind of thing with classical music. So that's one part is just listening and getting it. That's what kind of gets it into your blood, into your ear, and into your intellect. Um, the second part of it is actually studying it and, and the, the, the art of actually being able to craft uh, the, the phrasing of classical music. Um, it's not a random thing. Uh, we, you do want to have instinct and of course and heart is very important, you know, your love for music. But there is a kind of a science between phrase structure. It's informed by harmony. It's informed by melodic inflection. And that varies from composer to composer and period to period. So the study of classical music, not just classical guitar technique, obviously, is another very important thing. And then that nice answer, of course, is the, the heart thing. You know, you have to really have a love for it and want to, the desire uh, to communicate musically, to communicate the, the music and to express it. And the nice thing about um, classical music, and I'm, all, and I'm often telling students never to worry about if you study it too much, you know, it won't sound the same. You could take, you know, you could take 10 really talented players that have their chops together. They, they can play uh, the phrase in, in sort of a, a proper stylistic way, and you're still going to get 10 different you know, shades and, and, and subtleties out of that. So um, that is about the shortest answer I can give to the question of how does one play musically. So I, of course, I get asked a lot of well, what's uh, the guitar that I'm playing, and, and it is an impressive uh, thing to uh, not just uh, audience members and sort of mainstream classical series, but even the the hardened uh, guitar uh, classical guitar uh, community uh, aficionados and players. And it, um, I'm happy to say, that this is a, a wonderful instrument by Gernot Wagner, uh, a German luthier based in Frankfurt. And uh, he was one of the first uh, luthiers to develop this uh, a kind of a new way of building, I guess, 20 or so years ago, uh, called a, a, a double top or a sandwich top or a laminate top. Those are kind of the three common terms for it. So the top that you see is a spruce top. And then underneath it, what you can't see is there's another top, uh, a cedar top. I like this. I was always curious. He had always built cedar, cedar tops. Um, and I was always curious, I, I wonder what would happen if you kind of put a peanut butter and the chocolate, you know, together, you know, like a Reese's peanut butter cup would be sort of the best of both worlds. And, and in fact, I bought the first one of those. Um, this is my second. I bought the first one of those, the cedar spruce combination in 2005. Um, so I, I love these guitars. They're, they're, um, what's, what drew me to Gernot's Gernot Wagner's guitars initially was, of course, the first thing that you hear right away is the kind of the power that the guitars uh, possess and the low the low end range. And this was a lot of you know the other sort of premier uh, maker also from Germany, Matthias Dahmen, who makes uh, Manuel Barueco uh, Barueco's guitars and David Russell's guitars. 
um, this is sort of this is one of those kind of initial features that just kind of hits you right away. It's like wow, the the bass response uh, is is really amazing. Um, but the uh, what I like about um, the Wagners is that they seem to retain this kind of uh, traditional uh, or almost a Spanish guitar sound. You know, they, they don't sound all, they don't sound so much like a double top. They have this kind of quality uh, that that a lot of the great uh, fan old fan brace Spanish guitars have that you get you can really um, extract a great deal of color uh, from them and um, it's very flexible musically I can ask it to do a lot of things and, and it does it so so musically it's very flexible it, expressively it's a very flexible guitar so yeah I'm very happy with that and um, I guess the the other sort of things are it's this particular one is a um, East Indian rosewood back and sides and the typical mahogany neck. My other one, um, the reason I got this second one actually was to be sites treaty legal. It's uh, because the, there's an environmental treaty now where people's you know violin bows are getting taken away from them and sucks. They got you know like a, a mother of pearl or something on the frog or ivory on the tip and this sort of thing. All these horror stories you started hearing so. When I started hearing about that a couple, a few years ago, I decided to get something a little bit more that would be within the treaty's uh, guidelines. So, the, of course, my first Wagner is a Brazilian Brazilian rosewood back and sides, and does have some little mother of pearl stuff. So this this guitar is um, kind of legal for touring. So I, that's what I'm 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 on the road with with this one all the time now. Mm -hmm. 